to make sure that all your bales are 150 centimeters if you're using round ones. It's it's a thing. So it needs it's no longer an absolute. I'll oh, put one of these, two of those, six of those, and it'll be perfect every time. It's sort of no. Pay attention to what you're doing because you really, really, really have to make sure you do it right. Yeah. You're paying attention. Okay. Now the big question we have is do we have enough? Do we have another 3,500 litres of grass on this field to pick up? And when we've done that, we're finished. Oh dear. So I've got that much there, that much there. I think we will call that good. Lift that up. And how to do this as a role play thing. Is that right? Yeah. Turn the equipment. And now I can actually just go here and there. has stopped working because the uh, vehicle has suddenly disappeared. I guess when I lease tractors, if I ever do it again, I could do that as, you know, I'm not going to fetch them. I don't have to drive the Land Rover down to the store and then return it to the store. I can just lease it and have it delivered and it's going to cost me money to deliver it um, obviously I forgot something uh, I okay we're going to park this down here because it looks like we've had fun and games with bales rolling down the hill Now, the thing what I forgot is I didn't put the bale forks on. <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. And then because this map includes the script that stops the bales from going through the hedge we definitely didn't lose any okay I guess should we start at the top and then go fetch the rest oh that's the wrong two stupid forks oh well Oh, but it does tell us what we just stabbed. I wasn't aware it... I thought that was only a thing for bale forks. If you stab a bale with bale forks, it tells you what it is. Oh, slow down, dude. 
Oh, we're also going to have to hitch the weight on the back as well, so... It's going to make braking interesting. Maybe I should have put this over in front of the cow shed where the ground's flat. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I will uh, completely rearrange what we're doing here. So, step one. Basically what I was saying is while well, this bit here is the bottom of the hill, this bit here is flat. So I won't have a problem with the bales rolling one way or another. Pick up the correct attachment. And load the weight on the back so we can actually pick up two bales. So one of the reasons for having this weight is if we got a bale collector it would push the bales round the tyres and towards the, the pickup. I'm not quite so steep up here but what I've got to be careful of is not to knock that bale so that it goes rolling down the hill just like that. I didn't even touch it. Bye. Oh, I'm not paying attention. easiest way I've found to do this and really shouldn't be stabbing these is this bale pickup doesn't play well with one bale you you have to offset it to one side or the other which okay fine But that does mean if you pick one up on the right for on the right prongs, you should place that on the left side of a bale already on the field, and then it's much easier to back out and then stab both of them together. Is that one still rolling down? Oh well. This one, I think I'm going to try stabbing it on the left side. Um, or I could just roll it over, why not? It's a good plan. Not. Let's 
seriously? Come on. You know you want to be sitting on your edge. There we go. Okay, gotcha. Now these bales that are actually hard up against the hedge might actually be a problem for us. Admittedly, it would be a lot easier to extract these with a telehandler. So I can kind of run up like that and then crab sideways to get the bales away from the hedge. As it is, we can lift them high enough that uh, the hedge is not being a problem. Um, I'm going to stick these two on the back just because we've got a gap here. I'm going to have to pick up that bale to my left sooner rather than later. Um, a little bit more space to the right by the looks of it. That's kind of good. Okay. very very carefully okay let's tie at least two of those down we've got too much weight on the back interesting how it balances out once you tie the bales on the trailer okay I could get that one there. It appears to be in trouble. Stab. This one on the right side of that one. Interesting. All of a sudden, it looks like I can get twelve bales on the bottom row, not. That's, I think I can. Well, that means we can get 22 total stacked in two rows. Oops, I did something bad then. Nice. So drop one on the front. I nominate that one there. I still haven't found an easy way of angling the camera to get the best view. Even you know, in cab, it's Don't 
tell anybody. At this point, it's just a matter of, does it fit? And it really does look like it does. Okay. So I don't need to get singles, I just need to get doubles for the bottom row. Bail at the top, so one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. I stabbed that one on the wrong side. That's unfortunate. Pretty much every time I'm approaching this trailer, I am brake checking very early so that uh, we don't go ramming into it. Although, with everything strapped down, that's less of a problem of it all going flying, I guess. Alrighty, let's go deal with the ones under the hedge, or under the trees, because they are going to be probably my biggest problem. I think if I'm careful I can do these two as a double. Didn't we have a... there was a telehandler for sale. Um, 42,000, 59% off. See, these are expensive. But if I could get a cheap tractor and one of those on sale at the same time, that would... actually... Didn't we have that? We just had that with something like the John Deere, which was 190 horsepower. I could have gone with that and a telehandler, I don't need front loader arms on the tractor at that point. Alrighty, let's uh, shuffle that into there. Pretty sure when I did the uh, contracts, I only got five bales along the bottom row, so I must have been really bad at uh, um, lining everything up. Okay, that's 12. Go and extract another one. I think the one on the left there is gonna be the most convenient and we slam to a halt as we try and push it into the hedge where it won't go a little 
little bit off angle there, so it's not good. Oh, jeez. Come on, dude. I've got the bale. If I get this tractor again, I am going to go with the slightly shorter um, loader arms. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Definitely gonna have to go too wide for at least some of this. So technically, I should probably think about going too wide over the axles, not over the front. How's that looking? It's looking kind of okay, so long as they stay there. Nice. Okay, I'll go get the other one from the hedge. And really the big reason for using pink bales is so I can see them from distance. Let's try stabbing that one again. Okay, gotcha. Come out of the hedge. Now we can get you out of there. And I missed the tree too. Uh, what do you think? That good enough? straight not quite okay we'll stab these two put them adjacent on the front and then the last three can just go in the middle of the trailer over the rear oops let's try that one again Careful, those aren't strapped. I think we should rectify that particular issue right away. There doesn't seem to be a strap in the middle here. Oh yes, there is. Okay, I'm good with that. You're all strapped up. Let's go grab the last three and we'll move this out of the field. And the next task will be to plow. I guess I can do that today game well today game time since it's only 1.30 in the afternoon and we'll think about seeding actually we've got oh that's a pain I now need to lime this field and the obvious problem there is um, I don't have any uh, lime spreader Oh, I have the two big giant. Oh, that, yeah. Okay. I will 
claim stupidity for a minute. Um, these are only 150 centimeter bales. Obviously, I can get six on the bottom row. The hay bales I had on the trailer were 180 centimeter bales, and you can only get five or ten on the bottom row. I'm guessing 125s I could possibly get even more than that or even more than we've got right now because I just remembered I've got those two grass bales as well and the only way I can fix those is to uh, is to get an extractor. Of course there is an option to uh, just leave them as grass, which technically you shouldn't do. And uh, get an extractor later. for all our silage needs and just make, generally make round bales at 180 centimetres. Okay, it's so all that unhitched. Okay, let's investigate that as an option. Um, wrappers. This thing's 22,000. This thing is only 30,000. So 8,000 more than that, but it does 180 centimeter bales. I could then just neglect the fact that I have a silage bunker and use the silage bunker to store my silage bales in. The only downside, well, no. I was gonna say the only downside with that is you cannot 